Hello and welcome to the 19th lesson of our WordPress beginner to advanced course where we are becoming job ready to start providing freelance web design services with WordPress and Elementor. In my most recent class I have shown how to purchase a domain name from Namecheap and now in this video I am going to show you how to connect a Namecheap domain name with a Hostinger hosting plan step by step. So without further ado let me show you the domain name which we have got which is ajadadev.com and now we are going to connect this domain name with our Hostinger hosting plan and for your information in case you want to support me and if you're interested to purchase a domain or a hosting plan I'm going to attach my affiliate link of Hostinger and Namecheap into the video description so when you will make a purchase by using my affiliate links I will get a small commission without adding any ex extra cost to you so it is going to help me for sure and now let me take you back to Hostinger and I'm going to click on this login button and it is going to take me to my Hostinger account panel and here we go I have got this hosting plan where I have already hosted multiple websites if I want to show you if I click on this hosting button you are going to see I have already got three websites hosted under one hosting hosting plan on hosting platform and now I'm going to add one more website to add a new website we have to click on this add website button right here and it is going to take us to this page where we have to provide our domain name and we have to add a password so let me just remove the information which we have already got so now I'm going to take you back to Namecheap and after that I'm going to copy the domain name from here and let's go back to Hostinger we have to paste the domain name here and after that we have to provide a password for this account so let me provide a password here and after that I have to click on this add website button and now it is going to be added right here under this list of websites And here we go website created successfully and if you just notice we have got ajadadev.com added into this list of websites option but we are not yet done now we have to point the name servers into the name chip host, uh, domain name so first of all let me click on this manage button right here and I'm going to cross this out from here and after coming here in this page as you can see we have got ajadadev selected on this hosting account and now if you notice here hostinger name servers we have to we have got this name server 1 and name server 2 added here we have to point these name servers into namecheap and to do this simply we have to click on this manage button right here and it is going to take us to the next page where we have to make the change and here we go if you just notice this name servers option currently it is selected to namecheap basic dns but we have to make some change so to do make the change we have to click here and after that we have to click on custom dns button right here you are going to see two fields name server one name server two and in these fields we have to go back here we have to copy the name server one from here copy and let's go back we have to paste the name server one on the name server one field and after that i have to go back and after that i have to copy this name server two dns parking this one copy and let me put the name server to right here and after that we have to click on this right icon so let's click on this right icon so that our save uh, changes will be saved and and here we go we have got this notification saved as you can see dns server update may take up to 40 hour, 48 hours to take effect so sometime it takes around like 5 to 10 minutes then sometimes it takes a little longer so please don't worry this domain name is going to be connected to our hostinger account in real soon so let me just see if it is already been connected or if we have to wait before we start creating a website so let me just type out agitordab.com right here hmm, it's not been added yet but it is going to be updated please don't worry so while it is being updated i am going to show you the next step how you can create a website how you can install wordpress on this new domain name so let me from this page as you can see Azure Dev, on the same page we have to go a little bit down and after that you will find this website option simply if you click on this auto installer button right here 
you are going to find the options as you can see installed applications we have already installed wordpress on these domains and now we have to install wordpress which is this one in this domain azeda.dev.com so as you can see you have got few more options wordpress wordpress plus woocommerce zoomla and other so as we want to create a wordpress website we are going to select wordpress from here and after that you are going to find all these information from description and then we have got this domain name as you can see azeda.dev.com it is not editable and we should always keep this field blank let's keep it as it is this is blanked and after that you have to provide the administration administrator username for your wordpress website and the password so i'm going to provide a new username here editor dab uh, one and after that i'm going to provide a password here and after that we have to provide the administrator email address by default it is going to take the email address which you have connected with hostinger so we have got this email address let me keep this if you want to make change you can simply delete and make the change but i'd love to keep it as it is and then here is the place where you have to provide the website title so i'm going to provide the website title which is going to be editor deb and after that we have got this language selection option where we can simply select it uh, like english then other language as you can see we have got based on your need you can simply go with that so i'd love to go with english and after that database i'm going to create a new database for this website so let me select this create new database as it was and then here you can provide a database password if you want but i'd love to keep this blank or let me just give it a new database password okay and then simply keep them as they are and here we we can select this option always update to latest available version so that our website wordpress php version these are the things are going to be automatically updated and after that simply we have to click on this install button and okay so i have to must contain at least one number and one uppercase and lowercase so i'm going to change this password from here and then i can simply click on this install button again and now wordpress is going to be installed on our new what uh, new website which is azeda.dev.com so it might going to take some time while the domain name and the hosting is being connected so please wait few minutes and after that try this option and then you will be landed to the wordpress dashboard page and i'm going to show you in real quick how what we can get from this setup so far so i'm going to update click on the save update right here and after that if you just notice we have got uh, this azeda.dev.com we have got wordpress installed now to access the backend simply if you click here on these three dots and from details or sorry from manage if you click on manage you are going to see that you have selected azeda.dev.com and more information about your wordpress website and if you want to visit the dashboard of your wordpress website it is pretty simple if you click on this edit website button it is going to take you to the wordpress dashboard if the domain and hosting is already connected other than uh, other than that you might going to see this notification or this page is appearing while uh, the domain and hosting is not connected yet in this case we might have to wait few more minutes or let's say hours to get everything connected but don't worry it is going to be work fine and after clicking on this edit website you will be able to access your wordpress backend for sure so this was it for this tutorial i believe you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like and share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to learn more about wordpress elementor and freelancing with wordpress and elementor stuffs and i have to see you in the next video thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye